Well, hello everyone. This is different. Okay, at any time if you need to um, just slow down or whatever, just pause it so you can write down the notes. But first, whoops, here's what we're talking about today. So you want to take out your notebook, um, get down what we're talking about today, pause it if you need to. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and keep going. All right, so next we want to just remember our trig ratios, that the sine is opposite over hypotenuse, that the cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, that the tangent is opposite over adjacent, and then don't forget we have our handy little acronym, SOKOTOA, right? Alrighty. Okay, let's bring it over here, okay? And then let's just remember just some vocabulary. This is supposed to be your eyeball, okay? So if that's your eyeball, right? Okay. If from your, and you're looking straight out, if you have to look up at something, we call that in a word problem, the angle of elevation. And from your line of sight, if you end up looking down at something, this angle right here from your line of sight looking down is called the angle of depression. Okay. Like I said, pause it if you need to, to get the notes. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're going to start putting our trig problems. You may remember this from geometry, but we're going to start um, doing word problems with our trig functions. So just some steps to keep in mind anytime you have to do a word problem. You want to make sure that you read the problem. Sometimes it takes two or three times to get it figured out. Okay, Draw a picture, make a plan, execute your plan, and then go back and make sure that you answered the question. Okay, so just some things to consider. Okay, and then here is our first example. Get this in a good place here. All right. Okay, so pause it if you need to. Get the problem written down. Okay, all right, so here we go. All right, so I'm going to just kind of read this problem as you're reading it. Sonar on a boat locates an object at a downward angle ahead of it at a 50 degree angle. The object, which quite possibly could be a shark, is 510 feet away. So how far below the surface of the water is the object? Slash shark. Possibly a shark. Okay, so here we go. Don't make fun of my artistic skills here. Here's a boat. Okay, there's the boat. Here's the water that it is sitting in. Okay, it spots ahead of it at a downward angle that is 50 degrees. Okay, an object which is quite possibly a very large shark. Okay, right with big teeth. Big teeth. Okay, all right. Then it says, or that sonar lets the people on the boat know that the shark or object is 510 feet away, okay? And so what we're trying to find out is how far from the surface is the shark, okay? And so let's just remember we're in trigonometry, our study of FST, we're in the T part, trigonometry, like there's gonna be a triangle involved here, okay? And so I'm going to call this X. Okay, we're trying to figure out how far away from the surface the shark is. Okay, and so I'm going to put an X right here. That's what we want to solve for. Okay, and so now if we just kind of think about it just for a second, like think about the angle that we know. Okay, what side is this in relation to that angle? Okay, and hopefully you'll agree with me, of course, that that's the side that's opposite from the angle that we know right? Opposite side. Okay. And then let's think about the 510. Okay. Don't you all agree with me that the 510 has got to be the hypotenuse of our triangle, right? Because it's opposite the right angle. It's got to be our hypotenuse. Okay. And so let's just go back and think about our trig ratios for a second. Which of our trig ratios uses hypotenuse and opposite in it, right? And of course, we're all remembering that that's the sine, okay? And so let's set this up this way. So we know that the sine of theta of the angle is opposite, the ratio of opposite to hypotenuse, okay?
okay? So in this case, it's going to be the sine of 50 degrees is going to be equal to x over 510, okay? And so now if we just go ahead and cross multiply and solve, okay? So I'm going to crisscross this way. I'm going to put this over here because I'm running out of space on my little whiteboard here at home. 1 times x is x, okay? And 510 times the sine of 50 is 510 times the sine of 50, okay? At which point now we need to go to our calculators, okay? And I know um, many of you use the calculators in my classroom and you don't have access, obviously. So if you could just go on your iPads and go to Desmos, okay? Go to your Desmos app, okay? And I just want to show you a couple of things here on Desmos if you're not familiar with it. I'm going to hold up my phone there. Okay, I'm on Desmos. So first, remember that we're in, we want to be sure that we're in degrees, okay? And so you need to come up to the wrench right here and click on it, okay? And do you see the buttons for radians and degrees there? You want to go ahead and tap degrees so degrees is highlighted because that's what we're dealing with in this problem. We're dealing with 50 degrees, Okay, so be sure degrees is highlighted, okay? And then now we just need to punch this out. So we're gonna punch out 510, 510, and then multiplied by, so you can hit times if you want to, and then you wanna go to functions, functions, okay? And do you see how trig is highlighted there? We wanna find the sine function, it's up there in the upper left, so sine. Okay, and then 50 degrees. Okay, and you don't have to do anything else, and it go has it will go ahead and tell you that the answer is 390.7, roughly, if we round to one decimal place. Okay, so x is 390.7 feet away. Okay, and that is how far away the shark is from meeting these people at the surface.